I listened to a podcast, Tangentially Speaking. Now, I want to mention this to people um, who are fans of this podcast, and, and people probably know this podcast anyway, but mm-hmm. when I went on um, Pod Bible Podcast recently, and I'm doing a feature with Pod Bible Podcast soon um, about podcasts that I love, five podcasts, Tangentially Speaking is probably the most meaningful podcast to me Mm -hmm. um jre obviously is the the biggest impact Mm -hmm. um but tangentially speaking with dr christopher ryan is a podcast that has illuminated me on so many levels with so many interesting people and i kind of stole if you like the the blueprint of it uh, to a degree although Mm -hmm. i don't live in america and i'm Mm -hmm. not traveling as a kind of bohemian um polyamorous (laughs) professor across the country in a van and meeting all these interesting people in that way yeah but what he does is he sort of just he's a he's literally a professor who writes books and he wrote sex at dawn check Mm -hmm. that out and he's just written and released this year civilized to death which is an amazing book Mm -hmm. Um, and he kind of studies the whole prehistory kind of tribal hunter-gatherer culture and I've discovered some amazing people on his podcast, mm-hmm. so many of which are people that he just meets in random mm-hmm. wild camping spots in Montana or in Utah or wherever. Yeah. Uh-huh. But one of the ones I listened to was Kelly Brogan. <gasps> yeah. Uh-huh. Right? And I'm listening to this podcast, Kelly Brogan, never heard of her. She's just another person on the podcast who I'm sure is going to be interested. I'm mm-hmm. listening to her talk and she's got this real vivacious energy of like unraveling the kind of female perspective of products of things like makeup or things like Mm -hmm. even the contraceptive pill uh, breastfeeding bottle feeding the whole kind of Mm -hmm. you know like mainstream structure of what we think we adhere to as like a modern woman Uh and and i was listening to and i was thinking god this woman like my wife is gonna love this this Mm -hmm. woman is like basically like i don't know just further down the the journey that i feel like my wife is on with her spirit Mm -hmm. and with her kind of unraveling things yeah so i was like man you've got to listen to this podcast and Mm -hmm. as you know my wife she's partially deaf so listen to podcasts and me banging on she was like i know it's never easy for her to just put it on yeah of course yeah anyway we got the book she got Mm -hmm. the book read the book and then she was like wow oh amazing yeah did she i think she gave it to you after that yeah well because i came down to see you like in March 2018 and I still wasn't in a good place but I was like you know I had started reading and I was on my way of getting better and um she was like Sophie you need to read this book like I'll give you this book and she told me that you recommended it to her and I took her home and it just changed me life like the way I ate um what I thought about the pill, like what products I was um, using. And then, yeah, I followed it on Instagram. And it's been one of these things, like even my ex-partner, I got him um, into, I was like, you know, he has a books, like have a flick through. And then when I recommended it on one of my YouTube videos, um, this girl on Instagram actually sent us a screenshot saying I've went out and bought oh, there uh, you go. yeah like there ordered you go. mind of your own and I was like yeah. that's amazing that mind of your own just whip that up mm-hmm. Aiden just mind of your own for people looking they can see the book and yeah. Kelly, Kelly Brogan she's mm-hmm. she's super cool that book's powerful she's just brought out um, another book I think this year yeah it's own own, own own you own your life is it yes or own your or, yeah something like that or own yourself i mean i will bring mm-hmm, it up mm-hmm. a mind of your own that's yeah, a, that's her latest mm-hmm. book a mind of your own yeah mm-hmm. and um but yeah and then the other one i think it's called own yourself i think i don't know i ha- do have the second book but i haven't read it yet um but yeah, I've got so many books that I need to work with. She's been through. really vocal and really kind of. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, mind of your own, own yourself. Own yourself. There yeah, you go. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. She's been super kind of vocal about the situation at the moment with like the World Health Organization mm-hmm. and what mm-hmm. what it means with the idea of mandatory vaccinations and. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's really interesting. Very 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 powerful. And she's not scared to speak out 